Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to take you through some of my best Elementor WordPress themes or themes that actually work really well with Elementor. These are super fast lightweight themes, they are free and give you a number of options just like I'm going to show you in this video. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. But before we dive straight into the video, if you are new to WordPress and getting started on your WordPress journey, don't forget to download my free Elementor Beginner Toolkit 2021, which I think will be of more value to you as you're getting started building your first WordPress website. All the links are down in the description box below to access my toolkit and also a number of other mentioned resources in the video. So let's jump straight into the video and get started. So this is going to be a little bit different video from the usual videos I make because I want to tell you about some of my best free WordPress and Elementor themes that you can use in your project. And to pick up these themes, I considered seven things. And one of the most important things to consider when you select a theme is speed. So every other theme that is on this list is super fast. And that means that if you do most things right, your website will be super fast and lightweight. And the second reason for me to pick one of these themes is, is a theme extendable? Can it be extended to build totally different websites like course websites, like WooCommerce stores, like blogs or portfolios? Well, all these five themes that I'm going to mention in this list, they all have this functionality. The third one is templates and starter sites. I mean, if you're building a website or you're getting started building your first website, you need somewhere to start from. So in this case, I made sure that all the themes I'm having on this list either have starter sites or they have templates that you can easily import into your WordPress installation and get started. And number four is, are you able to create and customize your headers and footers in any of these themes, especially in the free version. Well, with these themes, you'll be able to get started creating your headers and footers even in the free version. Number five is the style and typography. With these themes, you'll be able to style up your headers, your footers, and all your other website sections using the inbuilt styles. And then you'll also be in position to use your favorite font faces for your website even in the free version number six is the right to left supports the first question is is this theme translation ready and the second question is does it support websites that have content running from the right to the left so all these themes that are in this list are translation ready and support right to left and the very last one is is the theme responsive are you able to set up your website and your website content in a way that someone is able to view it on their tablet devices, on their mobile devices, well, all these themes will give you that possibility. So now let's jump straight into the tutorial and get started. So number one on the list is the Astra theme. And all of you guys, if you've been following this channel for quite some time, I've always been using Astra in the tutorials and it's a theme I've been always recommending. So currently Astra has over a million active users and that makes it the most popular WordPress theme. The other thing you have to note about Astra is that it is of course Elementor ready. You can use it in your Elementor website. It is super responsive, fast and lightweight and their WordPress customizer is next to none. And one thing I like about Astra is that they have one of the biggest libraries of pre-built sites whereby you can simply import a site of your choice and get started even in the free version. So for example, I actually created a tutorial on how you can actually import some of these Astra WordPress websites and I will actually leave a link of this tutorial right down in the description box below if you are interested in checking out Astra's pre-built websites. Number two is Kdance. Kdance is a new kid on the block and this thing came out at the end of 2020 and by far it has over 40,000 active installs and what makes Kdance stand out? Aside Kdance providing you with a number of starter templates just like Astra, one of the things that makes the Kdance theme outstanding is their header builder because it has a lot more other options than any of the other themes that are providing out there. For example, it's of course drag and drop. You can use any header styles like you know changing the font colors background base height make it sticky or even transparent easily set up menus either on the side or above or even below your logo you can add buttons social media icons and even a shopping cart still in the free version of the cadence theme 
In fact, I have used the Cadence theme to design and create my travel and adventure blog, which is over right here. Built up the header and all the page content using Cadence over right here. Perfectly responsive and lightweight. So, for example, if I go back to the home page, all this is in the free version. This is the home page, and uh, it's also my archive page for this blog. And that's how it looks like. And with the footer and obviously the header, everything built up in Cadence. Next on the list is the Hello theme. Hello theme is a lightweight plain theme, or you can say bare bones theme that was developed by Elementor for Elementor users. It's super fast and super light, and currently it has over 600,000 active installs. And one thing I like about the Hello theme, besides it being compatible with many other WordPress plugins, it doesn't have any clutter that will keep running in the background which you actually don't need for your theme what makes this special is that since you're going to be using elementor to build up your headers and the footers then the hello theme is a perfect decision for you and installing a theme that is actually giving you the options to build your header and build your footer using their theme hello theme scraps that out and just gives you a canvas to get started building your website simply because the wordpress platform requires a website to have a theme installed so that you can get started building and elementor thought about that and was like hey let's put out this theme to support all elementor users i've actually also created a tutorial on how you can create a free website using the hello theme because there are currently already tools that will enable you to create headers and footers when you actually use also the Elementor free version. And in this video over here, I take you through every step on how you can create your first website using the free Hello theme and also the free Elementor version. So please check it out and I'll be leaving the link in the description box below. Next is the Ocean WP theme and at the moment it has over 700,000 active installs. The best way to describe this theme is that it's the best Astra alternative. That's what I can say in my opinion, because it nearly offers everything that Astra offers. For example, you have access to a big chunk of demos or starter sites that you can actually import and get started building your WordPress website. And of course, it's fully responsive, has a very fast load time, e-commerce ready, SEO inbuilt, and translation ready. Just like I told you, every theme I'm going to add in this list must be translation ready and supports the right to left languages and i also shouldn't forget that they have a very good header footer builder that you can customize to your needs even in the free version i shouldn't forget that in the pro version they also offer even more options like you know making anything sticky the full screen mode the cookie notice portfolio even white labeling your theme however i shouldn't forget that astra also offers you most of these options including white labeling your theme for example when you look over here in my astra playlist you see that i made a tutorial specifically on how to white label your astra theme so i think my definition of the ocean wp theme is not so far from right okay now the very last one is the bloxy theme the bloxy theme is also a new kid on the block and one thing i liked about Bloxy is that they built up this theme with Gutenberg in mind. So that means that in sections of your website where you don't want to use Elementor, you can simply use the already existing Bloxy theme templates or layouts to build up that section of your website. However, it is fully Elementor compatible and super lightening fast. Over here on the Bloxy homepage, like I told you that every website in this list must have some kind of starter templates or starter sites for you to get started. Yes, Bloxy also gives you that. And that means that you can simply import one of these websites that are already pre-made by Bloxy and you can get started creating your first WordPress website. So one of the key features that I told you, of course, it is lightning fast and also Gutenberg ready. So in case you have anything you want to build up in Gutenberg besides using Elementor as your page builder, then this theme won't actually disappoint you. And it's WooCommerce ready, fully responsive and also translation ready. And please don't forget that you can easily customize literally everything using the Bloxy free version with so many layout options. And also their header filter builder is fully built up to enable you even achieve more as you are creating your WordPress website. So in a nutshell, that's it all for my Elementor WordPress themes. And maybe you have a question like, okay, the Hello theme is a bare bones theme. So how do I get started building my WordPress website? Well, this video answers most of it. However, I should also mention that once you have Hello theme installed and you have also your Elementor plugin, then you can also have access to templates from Elementor 
and also many other resources like Envato where you can get free templates to get started building your WordPress website. This video answers most of those questions on how you can use the Hello theme to build up your website using the element of free version. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video brought you value and now you have an idea on which themes actually work best with Elementor and maybe you've actually found out a theme that you'll be using in your next WordPress project. So in case you have any questions or comments for me regarding this video, please let me know down in the comment box below. And also don't forget to check out the links or the resources mentioned in the video in the description box below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and liking the video, that is if you like it. See you in the next video and goodbye.